Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're actually doing another creating custom objects episode so yeah I did one of these uh, not too long ago but there's some more objects I want to add to my list of custom objects here so as you can see just search to get rid of that quickly as you can see I do have quite a lot of um oh whoops uh, yeah I've got quite a lot of custom objects I've created on my time in this game so I think I've been I think I've had this game or I think I've had Universe Sandbox for about two years now and I've got quite a lot of custom objects um, from my time playing this, so yeah, there's a ton of stuff here, like, maybe I should do a video going through all of these at one point, if you guys want that, just let me know in the comments, but yeah, I've made a lot of videos, um, or not, I think I made, actually not a lot, but I think I made um, two or three videos in the past of making some custom objects to add to this list here, most of them were stars, but today, we're going to do some planets, we're actually going to do one of the ones you guys requested, which, I'm sorry, but you commented it such a long time ago, I just never got around to doing it, but... I've got it in my head now, and I'm going to be doing it today, so, yeah, sorry on the long wait, but I am adding this in, so, what we're going to be doing to start off with is, you guys have probably heard of the diamond planet called 55 Can Cry, so I'm just going to check if it's in the game, which it is, so, there it is, wait, or is it? Oh no, these are just stars, they don't actually have the planet implemented in the game, because they're both stars, so, we're going to go ahead and manually make a 55 Can Cry, so I've got all the stats up for it on my, um, on, on Google here, so it's eight point or that it's about eight point six three Earth masses, and its radius is about twelve thousand um twelve thousand kilometers in radius. So I've got my custom colors here, which I want to use, um, if or if I want to use them. So, but I want to base it off Kepler twenty two. So I want to have it over the custom blue trail there. So can I edit this in any way? Oh, I can. Okay, good to know. So I want to make this thing a blue planet because. When you think of a diamond, you would think of a sort of like a, a light blue white colour, if you ask me. Like, well, I do it whenever I think of a diamond, I always think of a one from Minecraft because that is just like that's sort of like where I first thought, or like first really looked at diamonds was probably in Minecraft. So yeah, I think we're gonna make this quite a, a light sort of blue sort of colour. Since and especially when you like search on Google, you usually do see a bluish coloured object or like a burning hot red object. So. We're going to make this like a blue sort of diamond, like Minecraft diamond sort of colour. So like a very, very light blue colour. And also, we get a custom blue tray on it as well, since this is based off Kepler-22b. And because Kepler-22 is a similar size in mass, so or radius, sorry. So we're going to do this. So first of all, I'm just going to get the name pasted in, because I don't particularly fancy spelling all that out. <laughs> So, we're going to go ahead and paste that in there. So, there's our 55 can cry. And then we're gonna, just going to make all the colours all the same. So, I'm going to make it like a light, light, light blue. Like so. Okay, there we go. That looks good. And, and the last colour as well, make it sort of a light blue. So, there's our sort of diamond planet. I don't really know what to do for its um, structure here. Because it is just a carbon. It's a carbon-based object. That's what diamond is made from. What would it be? Silica or iron? Because there's no object for it in the game. Like, if we just search it again, 55. Let me think. Okay, there's a lot there, but yeah. 55. Can cry. See, look, there's nothing there. Like, is it here, maybe? If I just. 55. Can cry. So they have the stars in the game, but they don't actually have. Wow, that is a loud bike outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But yeah, but they don't actually have the game or this, this object in the game. So, so we have to make it ourselves. But I guess it's not that bad. So. Yeah, I don't know we really know what um, materials to give this. Maybe I'll just leave it the way it is. Or maybe it's more silica. I don't know silica or iron. What would it be? I don't really know. But anyways, we're going to turn that option off. And we're going to go ahead and paste it. So it was, I think it was 8.63 masses of earth. Okay, there was that. Wait, is it 8.63? So it is 8.63. And then the radius is about um, 12,742 according to this. So... We're going to go ahead and paste that in as well, so, like that. Wait, please, game, you're going to let me... There we go. Oh, I'll get rid of the KM, whoops. Like that. Wow, this really doesn't want to cooperate, does it? Um, let me just type it out manually, so... 12742, okay, so... 12742, like that, enter. Oh, it does change the mass a bit, hmm. What if you just increase the... Okay, that doesn't do anything. Hmm, that's, that's quite annoying. Is there any way we can make it smaller? That makes it bigger. Maybe we'll just make it a bit more of iron then. 
because I don't know. I want I want it to be quite real or close to the realistic one as possible. I guess we just have to have that have that option turned turned off. So twelve, four, seven, two. I think it was like that. No, twelve, seven, four, two. Okay, so twelve. So 12, 7, 4, 2, like that. So then we'll just go ahead and lock that. And then we'll put the mass to 8.63 masses of Earth. Like that. Okay, so there we go. So there's our diamond planet. So I'm really... Oh, that actually looks really cool. And then it's got its custom blue trail as well. So if you guys ever want me to do a video with this, we have it in the game to do. So there it is compared to Earth. So looking good. And we can give it an atmosphere if we want as well. Like, just to, just to make it look a little cooler. Like, give it that sort of, like, glow, diamond sort of glow, maybe. We'll just add a very, very light atmosphere. Just, just so just so it's not affecting its um, albedo in any way or anything like that. Wait, it doesn't even have an albedo. Or does, just so it doesn't change the temperature of it too much. But, yeah, there is our diamond planet. Oh, that actually looks really cool. Is there any... Does it say anywhere how hot it is, maybe? No, it doesn't. <laughs> From the, just from this, what I'm looking at anyway, I don't want to look too much into it. But yeah, there is our diamond planet, so that actually looks really cool. I like that. That's probably one of the coolest um, custom creations I've ever made, actually. I'm, I'm really pleased with this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just save this right now. So, 55 Cancrae, the diamond planet. So, if we just search here, there it is. Oh, that, that blue looks really nice. Obviously, not as good as Neptune, because Neptune is just the best. But that's quite a nice blue, cyan sort of blue colour there. And then, like, a nice bright blue diamond sort of color so think, uh, that looks really good and it does look like the, like the art as well if you just look on google images you see this picture of like earth compared to it and it shows a really like nice blue colored diamond planet so that's sort of what i based it off of it looks, does look pretty cool anyways there's our first custom object of today's video so the next one is actually um something i saw in one of you guys videos so i know you comment on my videos a lot and i um i do sometimes watch your videos as well so mad planet guy yeah you, you yeah I saw this video of yours, um, and I obviously commented on it as well, just to ask your permission to use this. Um, so, Mad Planet Guy, who comments on my videos, you've probably seen him in the comments a lot, he made a video saying, I found the Math Bros planet. So, I saw this on my recommended list, so I just clicked on it, and I looked through it. And then he found this really blue-looking planet, a really nice Neptune blue. Obviously not as good as a Neptune, though. But he found a planet called Ups and D. Now, I just, I, um, you may have seen it, that I searched it um, at the start of the video. So, if I just search Ups and d here and also i'll leave his channel in the description as well since he did find this planet but it is in the game so universe sandbox says it's a rocky planet but in in the game he was using which is something called exoplanet explorer it's a gas giant it looks like so interesting but it is a blue color so it's either a w ocean world or it's a blue gas giant but i think i'm going to go with the gas giant i can search it up as well just to quickly on google so it's called ups and D, um, yeah, X, exoplanet. So, does it say if it's a gas giant or not? So, he yeah, has a whole, there's a whole system on this, apparently. So, ups and D, is it a gas giant or is it a rocky planet? Let me just try and look here. Hmm, does it say anything? Mm, it does say about it. Does it say anything? I'm just trying to briefly look through this. Does it say anything about the composition of it? Radius. So it has radius, apparently its age is quite old. Nah, it doesn't say what it's made of. Dang it. It was discovered in 1999, and it is a conf apparently its planet status is confirmed. Okay, good to know. So there's a star called Ups And. That's, that's pretty cool, actually. That's quite a weird thing. Just say what it's made of, though. Okay, so it does look like it is a gas giant. From, from the concept art, it looks like it's a gas giant here. So I'm guessing maybe Universe Sandbox is wrong on this. Because um, from the game on Mad Planet Guy's video, it showed it as a gas giant as well, it looks like. So, well, there's a whole solar system for this. Maybe I could make it. If you guys want me to make this system, maybe I could do it. Because there's a whole system. I'll, I'll add this to my internet favorites in case I want to go back to it. But, interesting. So, there's a whole system we could make here. Cool. Yeah, but it doesn't say what it's made of. Just... Well, it is a Jupiter-sized object. So, that would imply it is a gas giant because... Obviously, rocky planets, they're only, they can only get so big before, like, planet, or bigger planets are always mainly, or mainly gas. So, yeah, I'm going to go with this as it is a gas giant. But what I'm going to do is, I've never done this before, but we're going to base it off Neptune. So, we're going to bring a Neptune in. We're going to turn Neptune into a big blue object. But what we're going to do is, we're going to have an inverted Neptune. So, an upside down one. 
And then we're going to make it extra big in size. So we're going to make it this big in the Universe Sandbox. Because in in, in um, the game Mad Planet Guy was doing, it literally showed it as a literally a Neptune blue. So rather than literally just make a, a new object, like maybe we could base it off Planet Island, I want to make literally base it straight off Neptune and have it as an upside down version of Neptune in a very, very big size. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Wait, wait, is it a capital letter for it or... Okay, no, so it's just lowercase, okay. But the AND is a capital A for some reason. Pretty weird name, but this is quite a unique system. I think we should um, definitely make a video on it or tr where I try and make this system. That would be quite cool. So we're going to call it UPS AND D like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make it a lot bigger. So it's got a mass of 8.86 Jupiters, okay. So we're going to go to Jupiter here. So then we're going to go 8.86 like that. Oh, this guy is big. And then, oh, and its radius is pretty much the same already. So looking good. Okay, so radius, so 1,392, so, okay, oh, that's going to be quite annoying to copy this, so, so, 1,392, okay, so, let's turn that off, so, 1,300, like that, so, 92, ah, it changes the mass of it, yeah, that's annoying, I guess we, that's the, probably the closest we can have it, so, let's just put it back to 8.86, so, 8.86, like that, and there we go. That is literally an exact copy of it. Because <laughs> obviously the composition on this we believe is wrong. So yeah, we've got it as a gas giant now. One thing we could do is if it's a Jupiter like gas. So I don't know if it's an ice giant or not. It doesn't say if it's an ice giant, but it just shows it as a blue object. So I'm assuming this may be just a giant, like a giant Neptune sort of ice planet, but it does say it's a Jupiter sized object, so I guess it is oh, that's interesting, that's weird. Yeah, but it's definitely a gas giant. I, I'm pretty sure it is. So we're going to go ahead and save this as a custom object just to start off. We can always edit it down the road if we want. But now it should be in our list here. So there's 55 Karen Kai there. So where is it? There it is. Ups and D. So there you go. Oh, that thing is cool. So there you go. So its settings are exactly the same. Okay, good. So that's pretty much all saved for us. So there it is. So yeah, thank you, Mad Planet Guy, for making a video which um, caught my attention there. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, if you, I'll, I'll definitely leave a channel link to his in the description. Actually, maybe I'll... Since he, he has made a lot of videos on me, which is very, very, very nice of you. So I think what I'll do to um, repay you is, apart from obviously mentioning you in this video, I will add you to my um, cool channels list. So if you look on... If you just go to my channel's main page and you click on... Like you see there's like home videos, playlists. There's an option called channels. If you click on that, um, you should see a tab that says Cool Channels. I'll add you to that. Yeah, I'll add you to that since you've been really like nice making like videos of or videos on me and stuff. So yeah, that, this is my way of repaying you, and I'll say thanks as well. It's awesome to see people making videos on me and stuff. But yeah, that that Math Bros Planet Up Sandy, cool, good find. That is a nice find. So yeah, here it is in Universe Soundbox. I've remade it exactly the way the game already had it based. So there it is, Up Sandy, and it's. Literally an upside down Neptune. <laughs> there it is. So if you want to compare it to Neptune quickly, so here's here's Neptune. So they're similar but different because that one is an upside down version of this. So we've because it looks so nice in your like planet simulator game you were using. We're going to make it look nice in Universe Sandbox like Neptune as well. Because from like from what your game it like from the image it shows in your game of this planet, it literally is Neptune blue. Like there's no question about it. That to me is Neptune blue. So. Here we've done it Neptune Blue in here as well. So there it is, now a saved object. But I think we could, I reckon, like, should I make a whole video on making this whole solar system? Because it's quite a unique name, Ups and. That's quite a cool sort of, like, system name. So, yeah, we can make a custom system for that if you guys want. Just let me know in the comments. But, yeah, there it is for Ups and E. So there's that. And last off, oh, we never even got around to using any of these custom presets. Well, we don't really need them for today. But, yeah, there's that. So the last thing is, um, actually, one of you guys commented, like I mentioned earlier. So... So here is Cypher. I think I, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but yeah, Cypher. So you, you, I know you've been commenting on my videos for a long time as well. So many, many thanks to you and as well, because um, you've gave me some cool ideas which we've done videos on before. But yeah, you commented quite a while ago to make a custom star with your name. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So it says turn R136A1. Since I know you do like that star, so you mention it a lot in videos. So we're gonna make a custom one of those, and then we're gonna name it after you. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll definitely save it as a custom object as well. We can use in future videos. So here's R1. Oh, this thing is big as well. So here's R1. So what we're going to do is we are going to turn it to... Let me just um, open up the um, notepad I have here. So 
turn R136A1 into 500 masses of the sun. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So turn that off and then go 500 suns, okay. So there's our 500 suns. Then he wants the luminosity at 100, or the temperature at 135 million. Oh, wow, that is big. So temperature, so 135. So then we've got 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, and then million. Like that. Wait, is that, no, is that 1.3 million? Oh, no, that's, we need to add an extra zero. Oh, actually two more zeros. So we've got 135. Oh, so many zeros, so... So that's um I gotta just give me a time so a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, a million, ten million, a hundred million. Okay, so that's 135 million there. Yeah, just as you wanted. So there's that, and it says at one billion luminosity, that this thing is gonna become a killer. So one billion lu what? Okay, so let me just um how many digits is one billion? I'm i I'm not very good with it. Too many, too many zeros. There we go. So let me just get one billion up. Okay, so there's one billion. Okay. So it's oh, so it's got ten digits. Okay. So, so one digit. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's one billion. See, so it's got one extra zero than 135 million there. So that is insane. <laughs> And then if I just go back to your comment here, it says, uh, 1 billion obviously and name it Cypher. So, yes, like I said, apologies if I'm saying it wrong, but I think I'm saying it right. I'm not very good with pronouncing, like I've mentioned before. And so we're just going to paste your name in there. And there you go. I need to put a space in front of it, though, just so it um, goes in the stars area. Because if you're wondering how I get my stars all at the top of the list here, I put a space before I have the name of the object. Because if you put a space before it, it puts all of the stars up here. So that means that the stars don't get mixed up with my planets. I just like it that way. It's more organized. I should um, actually reorganize some of my small little like dwarf planets here and stuff. Just so they're all at the bottom of the black holes. I'll just put a few underscores in front of them and stuff. But yeah, there's that. So this thing is just huge. Did, did you say anything about the radius though? Let me just go back. So it says 135 million, which we've done. Luminosity is at a billion. We've done. We've named it what you want. And then, yeah, we've saved it as a custom object. So... Oh, no, no, we need, actually, now we saved it as a custom object. There we go. So, all saved, and then it says replace it with the sun. So, I can do that as another video, so I won't do it in today's one, because this one's just about making custom objects, but there you go. It is now in my custom objects right there. So, it's in the third one. So, we've got Black Dwarf, which is the one here. We've got Shai, I can't, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, and then we got your one. So, there you go, your star's here. We've also got, um, no, just checking, we've got 55 Can Cry there, and then we've got Mad Planet Guys, Ups and D, Neptune, replica here so there we go guys so hopefully you enjoyed today's um making custom objects video and like i said um i did ask mad planet kai's position to or put permission to um like make a video on the planet he found in his um so or like in his exoplanet simulator game so that's all good like i said i'll leave a uh, link to his um channel um, in the description and comments and i'll also add it on my like cool channels list on the channels tab on my channel and there's a lot of channels in that sentence <laughs> oh sorry guys if that confused me yeah um so there we go and make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Help us on the way to 2,000 because we are so close. And yeah, hopefully you um, you got some cool ideas for me to do with some of these objects. Because we've got 55 Can Cry E, the Diamond Planet now. Then we've got um, Up Sandy, our Neptune ripoff. <laughs> pretty much the big Neptune. And then we've got um, the new Cypher Killer Star, 1 billion luminosity. Which is just, that is insane. We should make a custom solar system with this. And then all these objects, like... How would we have colonized objects around this? Like, this thing's Hatable Zone must, like, it probably doesn't even have one. We'd have to zoom out so far. Oh, it does! Okay, let me see how far away this is. Whoa, this thing has light years in... Wow. Okay, so, before you even get to the red zone, it's ten light... That is ten light years right there. But to get into the red zone, you've got to go even further out. And then to get to the green zone, you've got to be 50, about 50 million light years, or 50, not 50 million, just 50 light years away from the star to be in the green zone. That is insane. Okay, so what have I created? This thing. This is going to be a killer. But anyways, enough of me um, babbling on. Yeah, that is it for today's video. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed, like I said. Um, hit that subscribe button, leave a like. If you've got any custom ideas to do with these objects, feel free to leave them down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.